Winter. Okay. Okay, huddle up, team. We had a devastating loss last time with uh, Orthox. Orthax, that was her name. Being uh, sacrificed to the Dark Gods. Um, it, apparently all things just need to be kept in balance. We've got five gym badges now, which means we needed to make five sacrifices. And unfortunately, Orthax was the fifth. Um, however, I think we've got a strong team. We've got a powerful team we can be moving ahead with. I don't know why Slick's poisoned. We should probably do something about that before we move too far ahead. But I think we're, we, 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 we could be in a worse position. All things considered, we could be in a worse position. Uh, fine, just just take the full heal, that's fine. Um, I, I'm a little bit concerned about this tower because I believe we fought like a like an Embor or something in the in the previous fight, so I don't know what else we could be running into in here, but I want to do the trainer battles, I want to make the money so we can buy more TMs and stuff, and also, you know, just avoiding them is kind of more dangerous because it means if I ever have to backtrack through them again, then I'm at risk of um, accidentally running into them in a, in a worse position. Uh, is the anti joe okay to deal with this? Probably right. We just Technoblast this and it goes away. Not, not in one hit, obviously, but pretty quick, like. Oh, we can probably finish it with a secret power now, probably. Beautiful. Okay, that wasn't so bad. That wasn't so bad. What else you got? Yeah, happily, happily burn that to a crisp as well. One shot, right? One shot. Smell sprout, more like smell sprout. I did it to him. I just did. I just did. I'm sorry. It just has to be that way. Okay. Okay. Yeah, we can we can put that to good use. Um, I think I'll probably give that to Herman, to be honest. I like Herman being bulky. I want to keep Herman bulky, and I think that's going to mean pumping him full of drugs in order to, to, to keep that bulk going, so I'm cool with that. Obviously, when he evolves, he's going to become more powerful in many aspects, but he's going to lose bulk, probably, a bit, at least in special defense, because he won't be able to use the Eevee Light anymore. Okay, Charmeleon. Okay. Alright. Um, just in case. Just in case it does something suspect. I'm going to switch to someone who four times resists it. I think that, that feels smart to me. Oh. Dear. Dragon Rage can't kill. If I don't think it can crit. I think it's a, one of the rare moves that literally can't crit. Um, and it always does 40 damage, so it will leave me on exactly 2 HP. The concern is that he has something else. I don't know what else he would have, realistically, but he might have something else, like Slash, possibly, which he could get a kill with. Um, so it's really unfortunate, but I... I don't think I can stay in here. I think we let Herman try and clean this up. Just to be on the safe side. It went for Scary Face, okay, well. All things considered could have been a lot worse. Beautiful. One shot. Ooh. Ooh, the, comp the, the Charmeleon had sturdy. The fucking trainer had a hyper potion. Wasn't expecting that. That's something I need to be very aware of. If trainers around these parts are going to have hyper potions. Dragon Rage is obviously not great, but we... Miss with Rock Slide. Okay, all right. Things are getting nasty now. Crenicio will fuck it up with Dig, but Crenicio is also Steel type, so he's weak to fire moves. But I think that's probably the best option we have right now. Why are we losing to this Charmeleon? We have so many options for fire types, and none of them are working. None of them are working. It's the Hyper Potion that did it. It's the fault of the Hyper Potion, not me. I'm playing perfectly. The Hyper Potion fucked me. This is a one-shot, though. It's gone. We don't have to worry about it anymore. Um, presumably the other Pokemon following up is also going to be a Fire-type, though. A Pig Knight. Okay, that is fighting, which means it has two types that are super effective against Crenicio. But Crenicio being the absolute beast that she is, I think we're probably going to be okay. I did not enjoy that fight. 
Everything that could have gone wrong in that fight did. So starting off with the Charmeleon having Dragon Rage. Can we just address that to begin with? I, I don't remember that ever being a learn set move on Charmeleon, but I guess it is as of black and white. I guess that was a, a fun little addition they added into Charmeleon. We're gonna, we're just gonna bail and go heal up, I think. I think it's for the best if we go heal up before we continue. As I say, it's so easy, it's so easy to just have a little, a little slip and then everything goes to shit, you know? Just have a Charmeleon suddenly bring out a move you don't expect and suddenly we're on the back foot and if a more powerful Pokemon had done that, it could have been over, you know? The horrors of playing a Nuzlocke. So we've got two more trainers to fight in here? No, one more trainer. We did you, didn't we? You're kind of blocking me though, so I've got to go around this way. There's wild Pokemon in here. I don't think I caught anything in here last uh, last video, right? I don't think we've had an encounter. I mean, I don't want this. <laughs> I'm not going to lie to you. I really don't want this, but I just need numbers. I need numbers. If you survive a flame burst, I'll catch you. How's that for a trade? Oh, well, okay. You quite comfortably survived a flame burst. This is... Goth Eater is quite possibly my least favorite Pokemon. I'm thinking about it. It's quite possibly my least favorite Pokemon. Like... I've always been really against Jinx for the fact that it's like a... A weird, like, hyper feminized Pokemon that's still just like ugly as hell. Like, <laughs> there's some some weird shit going on with it, and it's like a little bit in the uncanny valley, but still doesn't. It obviously isn't human, so it's hard to particularly call it that. This thing is like that times ten. Plus, it's also like obviously, like it's. It's called Goth Eater. It's based around a Lolita. A Goth Lolita. That's just fucking weird. That's that's just that's just That's just fucking cringe. It's just a cringe thing to have. Oh wait, hang on, this is a male one. That's actually pretty cool. That's actually pretty cool. <laughs> hang on. We're changing this. We're changing this. Um We're just gonna call this guy TR. The trans rights. I think that's uh, I think that's probably the best thing we could possibly call that. But yeah, all in all, probably my least, probably my second. Now that I'm thinking about it, my second least favorite Pokemon design is the Goth Eater line. Because I just remembered that Eternatus exists. I think that's what it's called, right? The uh, Sword and Shield legendary thing that just looks like it's out of a completely different and much worse game. I was going to say it looks like it's out of a Final Fantasy game, but I don't think that's fair to Final Fantasy games. It definitely doesn't look like a Pokemon, though. It's like a weird, like, 3G mishmash of geometry, just all painted the same colour. It's kind of got, like, a skeletal motif about it. Like, it... It's just... I don't know. It, Yeah, it, it does just look like something out of a bad JRPG, honestly. Like, somewhere out there... I'll tell you what it looks like. It looks like Game Freak were developing two games at the same time. Alongside each other, right? It looks like they're developing Pokemon and some shitty JRPG that no one cared about. With a really just naff art style. And somehow, when they were putting a Legendary into um, into Sword and Shield, they got the two mixed up. They got the, they got the files mixed up and put, put the... Uh, put the Pokemon, the really cool big epic dragon or whatever for, that was meant to be the legendary that that ended up in in the shit JRPG and instead Eternatus ended up in Pokemon because it, it does it just doesn't look like it belongs like as much as I hate Gothita it looks like a Pokemon still it, it fits with the art style as hideous as it is it fits with the art style where is Eternatus how, how did it get there? 
How did that happen? Neither of them are good, though. Neither of them are good, even slightly. That's, that's the important thing to take away from this. Like, if I had to pick one to stay in the game, it's Gothita. But I'd really prefer neither of them did. Like, I would be 100% in favour of Dexit if they let me pick which Pokemon were called. You know? <laughs> if, if they'd left it completely in my hands. Then, uh, yeah. By all means, purge them. Purge the list. We do not need that many of them, especially when so many of them are kind of underwhelming designs, honestly. <laughs> Okay, more dudes up here then. Hello. Oh, he guessed correctly that I'm a Pokemon trainer. That is some impressive work. Impressive work, honestly. That is also impressive work. I'm actually fucking terrified of this, man. Haxorus is known for one thing and one thing only, and that is having an absurdly high attack stat. Like, a fucking atrociously high attra attack stat. To the point where I'm genuinely concerned, even though it's only one level higher than Anti-Joe, that it could just straight up one-shot. I don't know what moves it's going to be packing. If it's got something like Dragon Claw, then we're in trouble. Then we're in serious trouble. If it's got a powerful move to go with its powerful attack stat, then it could potentially sweep the team. I know Crenicio is probably my best bet for walling it, because Crenicio is a steel type, which I believe resists Dragon. I think we need to go Lavender and set up the old Leech Seed strats, though. I think that's probably my best move here. I think. Okay, full swipe. That's fine. That's fine. If all you're going to do is... It does have Dragon Claw. Okay, this shouldn't one-shot. Good. Good. We're not fucked yet. <laughs> I think a crit would still kill even after this heal. I think. I don't think we risk a crit here. We go. We just go into Quinesio and just try and just stall this thing out. We've got Dig so we can dodge attacks. And we'll just let... Oh fuck, it's got Dragon Dance. <laughs> okay. Okay. We can't waste time now. We need to get this thing dead. Um, I'm concerned if I dig it's just going to Dragon Dance again and then just be set up to quite possibly... I think with two Dragon Dances, even with Quinesio resisting the attacks, it could just one-shot its way through my entire team. That's my concern right now. Let me have a look at Lavender stats. Lavender's relatively bulky. Honestly, a lot of my team are similarly bulky. The anti joe is probably the best against physical attacks. But against Dragon Claw specifically, I think Cronicio, despite only having 56 physical defense, is probably going to take it best just because just she resists. I think she resists. I might have imagined that. Oh, fuck. Part of me wants to wants to dig spam. To avoid attacks and just let Leech Seed do the work. And also, you know, it's the most powerful move in my repertoire, so there is that. Part of me is terrified that if I dig spam, that's just going to let him set up. No, we go for it, I think. Thing is, this is clearly shit AI, right? It's using moves at random. So the chance of it setting up on me are actually relatively slim. One in four, you might say. Also, apparently we just kill it. <laughs> okay, I may have been making a bit of a mountain out of a molehill there. Pun intended. I know Quinesio is a mole and that's very funny. But... I don't think I don't think we could have been too careful there. I don't think there was such a thing as being too careful around a Haxorus. A little bit concerned about Lavender's HP now in case something like that happens again. Don't really have 
any cheaper healing items I want to throw away. I don't really want to blast through a hyper potion yet, so I'll go a little bit. <sighs> I'm just playing with fire here, aren't I? I'm just lighting matches and just throwing them into the kerosene. <laughs> okay. This is the wonders of a randomizer right here. <laughs> we go from a Haxorus to a Joltic. We might we might just straight up one shot this. It's probably more likely to be two shot, but Yeah, two shot. But like Going from the Haxorus to this. It's it's interesting information though, scanning through my team there and seeing that you know, uh, assuming one of the other teammates mate, doesn't resist. Anti Joe is actually my most defensive Pokemon. Is actually my best tank against neutral moves. I didn't expect that. Didn't expect that. Oh, to be fair, actually, I wasn't factoring in the uh, EV light on Herman. Herman probably is still tankier currently until he evolves. What is this? What is this power fusion bullshit? I'm sorry, like, I, I know I can probably fight my way through this and win eventually, but I'm not, I'm, I'm not dealing with this right now. Um, actually, Ares is starting to fall behind a little bit on level, so we'll let Ares deal with this. Cool leech life, bro. Epic three damage right there. Epic three damage. Bye. I shouldn't be mocking the random trainers. They're just going to pull out Haxoruses on me again. Okay. Oh. Oh. Okay. I was going to fight the optional trainer there, but if there's a healer down here, we'll go, we'll go get that first. I think we can probably battle through to that without having to you know, run all the way back to the, the house outside anymore, which would be kind of nice. That would be beneficial. This guy had read it or what? It was just going on about being enlightened. I have discovered atheism, and I am better than you. <laughs> Thankfully, he only has a single Pokemon. It is level 32, but it is also a bug type, so I'm not super concerned about it being able to stop the anti-Joe's Rampage. It took that a lot better than I expected, actually. I suppose it is neutral rather than weak to, but even so, I think I think we're fine here. I think we're good here. Don't get an Ancient Power Boost, please. Don't prove me completely wrong. Don't end up being scarier than the Haxorus. Oh, come on now. Beautiful. Um, given that Ares is actually... Oh, both Ares and Slick actually are lower level than Antijo now. Um, we'll eat Slick for a bit. We'll eat Slick for a bit. That could be fun. Please don't be scary. Please don't be scary. I just want to beat you and have a free healer. That would be really nice right now. If you could not... If you could not steamroll me, I'd really appreciate it. Snubble, I think, is a bit of a sleeper agent of a Pokemon. Like, you expect it to be shit, but I feel like it does have, like, weirdly high attack power, so I shouldn't get too comfortable here. Yeah, I mean, that wasn't loads, but Slick is quite defensive. It's worth noting. And, you know, again, this is an unevolved Pokemon. It, it shouldn't be doing shit to me. And yet it is. Uh, let's be smart here. If I do a U-turn on, on this, then I'll be able to choose what to send in against her next Pokemon, right? Or will I not know beforehand? Who sends out their Pokemon first? I do. Okay. Uh, fuck it. Go on, Ares. For it. 
Okay, I should have known it would be a normal type. I've, I've completely forgot how trainers work in this mod for a while there. Okay, doesn't one shot, but I shouldn't have expected it to realistically. Not without being poisoned or something first, anyway. Nice. Cool, so we got a healer. We got a healer banked here. Just gonna make things a little bit easier going forward. I'm aware I picked up the TM for signal beam a bit ago and didn't actually comment on it, by the way. Um, I was sort of thinking about it in the back of my head while I was waffling about everything else. And I don't think I've got much need for it on my team. I've already got two two bug moves loaded in, in readiness. Um, and I think I'd rather have U-turn on um, Slick just to give him a strong physical move and also, you know, U-turn's option to switch out is actually pretty nice. And uh, I, I think Herman just has got dog shit special attack, to be honest, so better off just keeping Bug Bite, in all honesty. I might double check that, but I'm, I'm pretty confident. Because all of his other stats are alright, so I can't imagine his special, his special attack's good. Oh shit, it's a Geodude. <laughs> Got the right person out front for this. <laughs> you never be too careful around Geodudes, I'll tell you. I mean, it's got sturdy, right? So, this won't kill. I just hope it doesn't explode on me. It went for rollout and missed. Okay, even better. And a bold or I don't know if these can explode, actually. Maybe. These are actually just pure rock type instead of rock ground, I believe, so... Water Pulse... Actually, what it's still a one shot. I stand corrected. Cheeky, cheeky confusion, yeah? Yeah, very nice. That was smooth. That was smooth as fuck. Wasn't expecting that to be quite so easy, but I'm not complaining, honestly. Not complaining one little bit. Which basically concludes this floor, if I'm not mistaken. Just give me a little little top up. I don't think I need it, but I'll take it anyway. See how much of the next floor we can deal with it without having to come back down again. These are the only thing in this tower, huh? These are the only thing we encounter. I bet there's like something in here that's like 1% encounter rate or something. I think these are normally zoo bats or something. I don't know actually, because this is like a ghost tower, so it might have been ghastlies or... I don't know. Ghastly would make sense. It's probably got fairly equivalent stat to Goth Eater, actually, now that I think about it. Or Dust Skull, or one of those other three-stage ghost types. There's definitely a spooky motif going on here. He's uh, Ace Trainers. Yeah, definitely Ace Trainers. So I believe these are going to have good AI. And presumably quite strong teams as well. I think for safety's sake against these guys, I am just going to lead Lavender. Knowing that, like, if we come across something we can't deal with, we can at least just seed it without having to swap first. I know the rest of the team still need a little bit of leveling up, but... I don't think we can be too careful against Ace Trainers, because they are a lot more dangerous than your regular Joes. Your average Joes, if you will. I realize I've not had my item finder on this whole time. Single Pokemon. And it's another Haxorus. <laughs> so it's level 33, it's one level higher than the other one. I'm trying to remember the other one's moveset. It had Dragon Claw, Full Swipe, and Dragon Dance, right? I don't think we saw the fourth move. So, this being an ace trainer, they might try and set up on me. <laughs> Which would be real bad. 
I mean, it's possible it being one level higher it might have forgotten something, but I don't doubt it would have forgotten Dragon Dance or Dragon Claw, because they're both quite high level moves generally. <sighs> I mean, obviously we're staying with Lavender. I don't know whether we sleep or Leech Seed turn one. I think we are going to want to try and put this thing to sleep to try and keep it from setting up too much. But I think we are going to need the Leech Seed on it, and if things go badly turn one and they don't get the chance to set up Leech Seed, I will fucking regret it. So I think we always just press... There it is. There it is. Okay. Do not like that one bit. Do not like that even slightly. It's going to outspeed me now. I mean, it already does outspeed me, but it's definitely going to outspeed me. Which means it's either going to try and body me with a Dragon Claw, which I... Even at plus one, I don't think it would kill, based on how much the last one did, but I think at plus two, it probably would. So if they go for another Dragon Dance, then I'm going to be in trouble. I don't think I try and sleep here. Because it's going to get the second Dragon Dance off regardless if it's faster than me. I don't know who will try and set up again though. I don't know if I'm giving the AI too much credit. I don't know if it'll be able to do the calculations and know that it needs plus two to kill. I'm sure a plus one won't kill. I'm confident of that. So if it goes for Dragon Claw, then hitting it with Sleep Powder is, is probably good. And then just pivot into someone else and let, you know, get the safe swap while they're asleep. If it goes for Dragon Dance, then putting it to sleep is bad, because it could then wake up at any moment and one-shot Lavender. It's my concern. And we still don't know what the fourth move is as well, that's what's scaring me. If it has like Aerial Ace or something, then that could probably one-shot Lavender from like now. Like we wouldn't need another, another Dragon Dance to do that. I think we got, we got to roll the dice. Oh, maybe we don't have to roll the dice, actually. Do we swap into Crenicio, who resists Dragon Claw and has proven to do fuckloads of damage to Haxorus's? I'd kind of like to do that while it's asleep, though. So I'm not swapping into a hit. Because even if I, if I swap into a hit, it hits with Dragon Claw. That's even with resisted damage, I feel like that might do half, and then I'll just die to a second one. Which means I won't be able to even attack, because it's obviously going to outspeed. I think the only way we can comfortably swap Crenicio in is if we sleep it, or Lavender dies, and God knows I don't want that second one to happen. I don't think we can just do a, a standard swap. And I also don't think Lavender can kill this. A Hyper Voice will do some damage, but I don't. it won't come anywhere near the kill. Probably be two of them, plus Leech Seed Ticks, possibly more. Oh, this is so much to think about, because I'm, I'm really scared of pressing Sleep Powder. And even if I get the Sleep, it still gets a second Dragon Dance off. And then I'm just at the mercy of this thing killing me at any point. Whereas if I hit it with a Hyper Voice, even if it gets a second Dragon Dance off, at least it'll be like half dead. And it will only take a few ticks of um, Leech Seed to kill it. Fuck it, let's roll the dice. Okay, it went for Dragon Claw. I'm actually okay with this. I don't think it will kill unless it crits. I'm so glad I I got that right. For a second, there was a there was a brief moment there where I was convinced it was gonna kill. When I saw that health bar plummeting, I was like, I've got these this this estimate completely wrong, haven't I? Hopefully it won't wake up turn one and we can get Crenicio in safe. Hopefully. Thank fuck. Okay, we should be okay now. Okay, that's actually fine. I'm actually fine with it going for a second Dragon Dance now. It, I don't think it will one-shot Crenicio because Crenicio resists. And it will outspeed now, which means I get to hit it with Dig, free of charge. 
And that might just kill. Whew. I hated that. That could have that could have gone so badly. I know, like we fought uh, Haxorus earlier, and I, I had no, I didn't sweat that one anywhere near as hard. But it's that Ace Trainer AI, like it, it, it knowing to set up a Dragon Dance turn one, it going ahead with the Dragon Dance. Why did I hear Potion? We got Healer just downstairs. Whatever, fuck it. <laughs> We're committed now. And obviously, we keep leading Lavender after that. We Christ knows what this other one's gonna have. Oh. <laughs> Worked out quite nicely, actually. Okay, we could just slip past you, but god damn it, I'm going to try for this. Okay, two Pokemon on this one. Medicham. Okay, probably has a psychic move, which isn't great for Lavender. If it goes for a psychic move, who do we swap in to resist that? Herman? Does Herman, Herman resist psychic, right? Don't know how Herman would fare against fighting moves, though. It goes for a fighting move, it probably one shots Anti Joe. This is actually pretty fucking scary as well. We don't deal with fighting or psychic well, and this is both of those things. I think Slick's pretty, pretty comfortably neutral against both. And we'll hit quite hard with U turn. Do we think this will one shot Lavender? Is it worth going for the old Leech Seed just in case this becomes a problem? It's worth remembering he has a second Pokemon in the back that might be more of a problem, though. Like, a Medicham isn't that scary a Pokemon in general. It's just because of its typing against my team. It's kind of unfortunate. Okay, here's what I'm thinking. We stay in, we go for Sleep Powder. Didn't expect to outspeed. That's fucking glorious. Here's why we're going for Sleep Powder. Because I want to get Ares in here. I think Ares will one-shot this with a fly. But Ares is, you know, the most fragile member of my team. And uh, would have been at risk for just a, a straight swapping from that. That was so lucky, actually, because that has absolutely just given me a free kill on this. I might not have one-shotted it with fly, but after the high jump kick, that was really convenient. We now have Ares in against whatever comes in next though, which is a little bit concerning because Ares again a little bit, little bit fragile. Thank fuck it's just a drowsy. We're just gonna fight this, I think. I, d I think Ares can just take this. It is trying to set up on me. He saw the fly coming, he predicted it. Nice crit. The crit master does it again. Okay. Nowhere near as bad as Haxorus guy, gotta say. <laughs> gotta be honest. That could have been a hell of a lot worse. Uh, let's see what we're dealing with upstairs before we take Lavender out of the lead slot. Lavender is so necessary as a lead against harder trainers. No one else so comfortably enables pivoting. And no one else has such a strong move to just drop on something scary as Leech Seed. Okay, we're at the top. I'm assuming we're going to have some sort of scary battle up here. Not the gym leader, presumably, because we'll be fighting her in the gym, but something bad's going to happen up here, right? I don't think we're done yet. Is there not a hidden item anywhere? Oh, you came. Thank you. I was right. What I saw was a hurt Pokemon. Don't worry though, it's fine now. I gave it a max revive and it felt better and flew away. <laughs> Don't I have great eyesight? No matter how far away things are, a pilot's eyes can see them. Oh, that's right. Since you came so far, why don't you ring the bell? Celestial Tower's bell is known for soothing the spirits of Pokemon. Also, the character of the person ringing the bell is reflected in its sound. Alright. Sure, why not? I'll, uh... 
I'll engage in your customs. The sound of the bell reverberates through the area. What a pretty sound. Joe too, you're a kind and strong person. It's that kind of sound. I'd like to introduce myself again. I'm Skylar, the leader of Mistralton's Pokemon Gym. I use flying type Pokemon. Hey, me too. I've got one of those. When you're ready, please come to the gym. I'll give you a big welcome. I mean, I'm not ready. <laughs> I hate to say it, I'm not ready. I know there's a whole ass route to the right where I can do more leveling up and I'm going to engage in that to the fullest before I come and take on a gym leader, I think. I've had enough drama today with those Haxorises. And even that Medicham honestly put the fear of God in me for a while there. I don't think we need anything more than that. I think we can have a nice, comfortable... I mean, I say a nice, comfortable trainer grinding session, but, you know, ace trainers fucking terrify me. <laughs> they truly do. We need to... I need to go through my uh, Dragon TMs again, I think. I've got three Dragon TMs and none of them are taught to Pokemon right now, and I feel like I've got to be able to give one of them to someone. Because we just do not deal with dragons well. Although I suppose the issue is very rarely that we're not hitting them hard enough, because we can hit them pretty hard. We can't one-shot them, but even with a dragon move, we probably couldn't do that, because they're all bulky as hell. The problem is more with them hitting us hard. So I don't know if a dragon move would be that smart, actually. I'd really like Ice Beam on someone. I think that would that would be very useful. Obviously, it's just fairly nice coverage in general. It deals with grass types, deals with flying types. You know, it's not just an anti-dragon weapon. And in fact, a lot of dragons are also flying, so ice types are four times effective against them, which is really fucking nice. If we, yeah, if we get ice, any ice move, really. A TM for any ice move would be nice. But Ice Beam, obviously, is the uh, is the one to watch, isn't it? The Ice Move of choice. Right, I believe we're out. I believe we're home free at this point. This horrible hail route that we're dealing with right now. Okay. Um... I don't believe we've done anything here yet, have we? Let's switch back to a more normal lead. Uh, anti Joe can keep leveling. In fact, no, I want to level Herman. I really want to level Herman. I've, I've been saying it for, what, six, seven videos at this point that Herman's on the cusp of evolving, and I still firmly believe that. So we're going to push for that, I think. We lead Herman for a bit, just try and get him, like up to like level 35 or something, see if we can get an evolution out of him. That's unfortunate, because that's not a great thing. That's not a great thing in general for any of my team, honestly. It's not the sort of thing I like to run into. I think honestly, as much as I just switched Lavender out of the lead slot, I think Lavender is my best option against fighting types. That's a problem. That is a big problem. Holy fuck. I don't think Lavender kills this. Maybe maybe with Grass Pledge, actually. I think we just go for Grass Pledge. Please kill. Please kill. Please kill. Thank fuck. That crit might have mattered. That crit might have been necessary. For the uninitiated... There's a Machamp to follow up as well. That's pretty scary also. But for the uninitiated, Belly Drum um, halves your HP, but plus six is your attack. Which is real bad. It means that that Hariyama could probably... No, probably about it. It could have one-shot my entire team. Thankfully, I think most of my team outsped it, so we could have, you know dealt with it pretty easily. I'm surprised that killed. So we could have dealt with it fairly easily, hopefully. 
Um, but it definitely would have taken at least one kill before it went down if we if we hadn't killed it then. Oh, that's nice. That's very nice. I have a very defensive team, so if any of them can learn Recover... It's gonna make my stall tactics even stronger, honestly. Slick can. Okay, you know what? We're gonna drop Body Slam, I think. We need Mud Bomb for coverage, we need Water Pulse for coverage, U-Turn's just nice. Body Slam is a very good move, but I, th I think we're better better served with Recover right now. Cool. Um, while we're here... I'm very tempted to drop Quick Attack on Ares because she outspeeds most things anyway. The Dragon Rush. It's a bit of a gamble move, I don't like using moves that are only 75 accurate, it, but it's a powerful dragon move, which is something we kind of need in case of emergencies. The thing is though, am I ever going to switch into Ares against the dragon? Unless I absolutely have to, unless I've got no other choice. I'd rather Crenicio had this, honestly. Can Crenicio learn a dragon move? Because Crenicio is our dragon counter. Can you learn Jewel Chop? Yeah. Do we need Home Claws, do you think? It's nice to be able to boost, but it doesn't give Crenicio speed, and she's not the fastest. It's definitely no Dragon Dance, right? Dig's the most powerful stab move, Metal Claw we need for coverage. Honestly, I I would live without strength if I could. <laughs> but it's not the easiest thing to forget. We did find the move forgetter, to be fair. We could drop strength, but it's going to be a pain in the arse if we have to switch to a, a HM slave for strength. Actually, yeah, I think we do that, actually. I think that's what we do. We'll come back to the jewel shop thing when we're back in town and we can we can forget strength. We need it it doesn't matter if we have to carry a HM slave around with us for for, for bits where we need strength. I think that's probably fine. This is a double battle. Probably one that these two can deal with. I mean, they are higher levels than us technically, and have just twatted us with an Intimidate. But I don't think they're particularly scary Pokemon. I'm a little bit concerned about a Super Fang coming out of the Watchog, but I think we deal with this, honestly. That was actually pretty lucky. Got the flinch on the Morile. A little bit concerned that the Morale might have a strong steel move as well. They could double up into Herman and kill him. But it's going to be good XP if we beat him, so I'm, I'm gambling a little bit here. There's the Super Fang that I was fearing. Okay. Lynch again? It went for Battle Pass. We're fine. We're fine. Okay, Herman. Good job. We're going to get you the fuck out of here for the remainder of this battle, I think. Especially after that hail tick. I, I don't think this thing will be able to kill you, but we're not risking it. We're not risking it. Slick, get in here. I'm expecting the anti-Joe to, to just remove this thing now, but... Better safe than sorry. Oh, I didn't. The hail was going to remove it, but the anti Joe didn't. Do you think 33 will be the level? Do you think it will happen? No. <laughs> it's not going to be one of those 
It's not going to be one of those evolutions where we need to use like a special stone or something, is it? Is it? Does it just not evolve through level up? Is that the problem that I'm having right now? Level 33, man. We've had this thing since like level, what, 10? <laughs> Damon's been in the party for a while at this point. Our third oldest team member after these two, right? The OG Ronda replacement. Wanna get my item finder on? There we go. I'm struggling there. Struggling with the buttons. Old man can't remember how to press buttons. It's not the first time it's happened, don't worry about it. A little bit of brain rot going on there. You've got three Pokemon. One of them's a Hoot Hoot though, so I'm not that concerned. Not that concerned, just just a little bit concerned. There is mild concern. Might have been a good fight to use Stealth Rock, actually. Might not need it, though, if they're all just, like, weak birds. Oh no, they're weak normal types. Either way, probably gonna be fine to just sweep through this. Does nothing. Go on, have a berry for me. Have a berry for me to pinch. You know you want to. Damn. A man can dream. I think it's physically impossible for it to have a berry considering it hadn't eaten the berry and it was on low health, but... Again, a man can dream. This might do some damage, actually. Yeah, that did more... Ah, oh, it wasn't great, to be fair, but... More than I would have liked to see come out of that. I think... Odds are we destroy this with absolutely no issues, but again, we don't play with the odds. We don't gamble anymore. We've done too much gambling and it's it's not been good. It just went for Tail Slap, which I believe is a very good move, so that could have been problematic if we'd allowed it to go off. Swapping was the sensible thing to do. Swapping is always the sensible thing to do. I am actually reconsidering um, reconsidering Stealth Rock as a, as a move. I know it's very good in competitive Pokemon because in competitive Pokemon people swap a lot, so it's just constantly chipping. But against trainers, they just don't do that. So really, you're just going to chip each Pokemon once when it comes in, and it's not a great deal of damage. I think we could probably make better use of that move slot on Herman. I don't know what with right now, but it's worth thinking about next time a, a, we get an option to learn something new that maybe we just drop Stealth Rock. Okay. Kind of useful, I guess. Still just using regular Pokeballs for all my catches so far, but... Is this where we get blocked? I think this guy in front of the cave coming up is going to stop us from going any further. Till we beat the gym. Okay, we'll fight that. Happily fight that. It's weird that I do actually value Sand Attack more than more than um, Stealth Rock. I think I do. Will Rock Slide plus Hail Tick kill this thing? Guess we'll find out. No. That would have been very nice if it had, but alas. It doesn't do too much, right? Oh, it was charge. I thought it was spark for some reason. Relatively short electric type move. Just, just made sense to me. Uh, should I be concerned? Like, I know it's not very, it's not super strong, but it is a single stage Pokemon, which means it has higher stats than most non-evolved Pokemon, even though it is not a super strong one. If it has something like T-Bolt or Discharge, there could be a concern here, so maybe we just swap to a ground type and don't fuck about, eh? I love switching in switching in a water type against 
um, potential scary electric type moves. I just find it very funny. Did that just bug bite me? <laughs> Would you stop spamming bug bite on me? I don't have a berry, my dude. I don't have one. Oh, fuck off. Alright, here we go again. I really need a more reliable ground move. Cannot be doing with Mud Bomb and it's 85 accuracy. This is why I'm, I'm wary of Dragon Rush and 75. It's like even less reliable than Mud Bomb. Got any more? Any more? No, but I do. Oh, it's finally happening. One level after I was about to give up hope on him evolving through level up. <laughs> There's my beautiful cube boy. Well, no longer needs that Eevee light. What can we give him? What can we give him instead? A dragon fang. Rocky helmet probably makes a lot of sense, doesn't it? Not really got anything else super good, I guess. Oh, we can only use that once, yeah, it's not really much point. We had something that, like... We do have silver powder to boost bug moves, I guess that's a thing. We used rock slide more than bug bite, though. We don't... Oh, boost the power of rock type moves. Okay, maybe that. I do think Rocky Helmet's probably just better though, isn't it? You can get a bunch of chip damage in on things just by switching him in and taking, like, weak attacks. Look at him. Look at my gentle boy. Okay, special defense has gone up quite a bit from that evolution, actually. Definitely the tankiest fella on the team now. As I say, oddly, probably slightly less tanky than he was as a Dwebble because of the Eevee light, but his attack's gone up, his speed's gone up, you know. Probably works out for the best anyway. Okay, um, and that is probably about wrapping up time, I think. It's just a quick chat with this lad. You're Joe too, aren't you? Are you surprised that I know Clay told me? Uh-oh. To go inside Twist Mountain, you need a gym badge from the Mr. Alton Gym, the Wild Pokemon here at Tuffer, and we want to make sure you're ready. Okay. So, um, apparently there's just no travel between this town and the next because... Unless everyone who lives in the town has a gym badge, I guess that's a possibility. Sure you want to fuck with this? Sure you want to fuck with my bug cube? Yeah, that's what I thought. That's what I thought. Anyway, yeah, we are going to wrap up. Um, we will tackle the gym of... Was she called Skylar? Like, the Breaking Bad character? Was that her name? <laughs> I think that's what her name was. We'll tackle her gem next time. Anyway, whatever her name was. Um, I'm sure it'll be disastrous. I'm sure it'll be horrifying. And I'm sure you all can't wait to watch me fail. So um, buckle up and enjoy that next time. I will see you all around. Just managed to drag that out long enough to hit the Poké Center. Anyway, bye. <laughs>